Now, coming to the stage before you, I have been told he is Bard, Kingdom Bard of his Kingdom of Meridies. Doesn't mean Jack or here. This is the War Bard competition. Bring your best there, Matthias Blackett. Yay! Woo! So I hail from the Kingdom of Meridians, and each year we hold a war with our brethren to the south, the Trimarans, called Panhandle Skirmishes. Well, at this most recent Panhandle Skirmishes, His Royal Majesty Thomas had sustained an injury and was unable to take the field. So Her Majesty Elisanda looked at him and said, Your Majesty, in your stead, I will lead the troops. Not knowing that Trimarans had outnumbered us about twice our army. But nevertheless, she walked into battle with our head held high and led our troops into battle. And at some point, things started going awry. The Trimarans pushed us back, taking out our troops. Blood stained the battlefield till there was only one soldier left, <coughs> Her Majesty Elisanda. She was legless and surrounded by spearmen, at which point the Trimarian king walked up and said, <coughs> Her Majesty, I wish to offer you for ransom. Yield this field. At which point, Her Majesty looked at the tricycle king and said, No. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> Taken aback, the Trimarian king said once more, Your Majesty, yield. Her heart set on fire at this point, and she looked him dead in the eyes and said, Meridians, never yield! Huzzah! <laughs> Defeated. The Trimarian king turned his back and told his troops, simply, kill her. <laughs> I felt this needed to be documented, so I consulted with our Kingdom Poet Laureate, Master Edward Glastonberg, called the Saxon. He and I collaborated and wrote this song in honor of our Queen Elsa. Song for a warrior queen. Stars and crown draped queen, defenders ready, warriors brace for battle. First amongst the Melisanda, there to lead and feed death's rattle. Fierce our queen, a warrior queen, she's the bravest lass we've ever seen. The waves of warriors, <coughs> the wall breach, dark death dealers, slaying foemen, killing all who come within reach, gladly bringing death's dark omen. Black and silver, vengeful slayers, shield and spearmen, life's betrayers. Yet again the battle turning, those besieged are now pursuing. Queens and captains, life's blood burning, now fall back to rich death wounding. Pressed by <coughs> enemies advancing, gripped by death and minions dancing. Blue and white, the triskel king sallies forth to make demands. Shouts above the battles <coughs> ring, calls to foes who raise their hands. Yield this field, his words roll forth. <coughs> Will you yield it? Spare thy worth. Yield, says our queen, I think not. No, I will not yield this ground. We have bled to hold this spot, and I will not be ransom bound. Never will I leave this field, never living will I yield. With this shout, our fair queen fell, yet her legend shall endure. Far beyond her brave death knell, her chivalric death holds pure. So sing we now of our bold queen, bravest lass that we've ever seen.